The atomic blockbuster Oppenheimer led the field of Oscar nominees with a sweeping 13 nods, which was no surprise. Following close behind with 11 nominations was Poor Things, a feminist fantasy set in a steampunk world of mutants and male chauvinist pigs. Killers of the Flower Moon, a historical drama about a vast conspiracy to rob the Osage nation of its oil wealth, was third with 10 nominations. Barbie, 2023's biggest box office hit, earned eight nominations, but zero nominations for the film's director, Greta Gerwig, or its star actor, Margot Robbie. At 81, Martin Scorsese made history by becoming the oldest directing nominee. Paul Giamatti scooped the Best Actor nomination for his role as a prickly boarding school teacher in The Holdovers. Chilean Murphy's powerful portrayal of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the leader of the Manhattan Project, in the movie earned him a nomination. And Bradley Cooper, who directed himself as composer Leonard Bernstein in Maestro. The Best Actress contest is between Lily Gladstone, the first Native American nominee ever for her role in Killers of the Flower Moon. Emma Stone was nominated for her role as the childlike protagonist in Poor Things. Annette Bening was nominated for her performance as a competitive swimmer, defying the odds and time in Nyad. And of interest to the African audience, the documentary film Bobby Wine, The People's President, based on musician-turned-presidential candidate Bobby Wine, also got a nomination. The film captures the pop star's presidential run against Uganda's longtime president, Yoweri Museveni. Not nominated and a surprise to many were actors like Charles Melton for his much-acclaimed work in May-December and Leonardo DiCaprio, whose work as a dim-witted criminal in Killers of the Flower Moon.